<laughs> you, I want you to answer most of the questions. Okay. Can you? Thanks. I'm Megan, I'm an interior designer. And I'm Bill Kaleo. I'm the co-founder of the Brooklyn Home Company, and this is our home in Brooklyn Heights. Megan and I got married two years ago, and she has two children, and I have two children, and we all live in this apartment together. I would say our taste in design is similar. Naturally, he probably has a little bit more of a masculine edge to it, and I'm probably, a, I would say, more feminine. But I think that's a nice mix. What I think is unique in our case is, you know, I met her when I was 41 years old. And so I already had my values. I had already built a lot of homes and constructed a business where we built beautiful homes. And when I met Megan, I immediately liked her values and aesthetic. I immediately knew she had good taste. So it was sort of fun to collaborate with her knowing that I was with sort of, in my mind, uh, like a design star, like somebody that really was going to be good at, at building a home with. And that ended up being absolutely true. So when we first looked at this apartment, it really wasn't looking at this apartment, it was looking at a floor plan. And it was actually thinking and dreaming big because we had four children and our real objective was to make sure that everyone had their own space, their own little room because we were merging our families and we wanted everyone to feel extremely comfortable. So we really imagined it from day one on a piece of paper and then Megan and I came in and built it out together to our liking the way we wanted to. We really wanted the views to be the main event of just the overall aesthetic of the apartment. So we and I sort of tried to really have the interior feel calm and, and not too overbearing or overwhelming. I would say the design process for me was really making sure that it was a nice combination of both new and vintage and you know that that mesh of those two things to make sure that it didn't feel too you know stark and harsh because I think a lot of the times when you have a new build and a new development especially in you know a high-rise building where everything's sort of like white box and you know not a lot of old character I wanted to br bring that in with some of the the furniture elements and make sure that we were really pulling together both like new and old to kind of make it feel really lived in and beautiful and comfortable. So one design decision that I definitely didn't budge on was the primary bathroom. I knew that I really always envisioned that to be plaster, sort of floor to ceiling, you know, every surface covered in a beautiful, you know, crisp, creamy plaster. I had a lot of pushback from a lot of people. <laughs> that is my favorite room by far in the house. To be in that shower, looking out, and it's all white and beautiful plaster, and to see a boat going by while I'm taking a shower, I'm like, I feel like I'm in heaven in that bathroom. So I'm absolutely happy she won the argument. <laughs> I think the den honestly started with the sofa, with the couch that we have in there. It's this beautiful, bright blue fabric that we sort of fell in love with and knowing that the rest of the apartment was so muted and so sort of calm, you know, we thought why not play with one of the spaces and make it a little different and, you know, give it some character. You know, a lot of the time people are very scared about, you know, having beautiful things and decorating in a way that they are, you know, proud of because they have children. So I try to, to tell clients and, and myself, you know, decorate the way that makes you feel proud. And also, stains and, and patina and all of that make something feel lived in and, and old and comfortable. And um, I think that's also important too. I think what makes any house a home is really everyone who's a part of the family having their own 
sort of imprint in the home. Everybody having sort of a say in, in what makes up the home. I totally agree with you. This, this would not be a home for me if my wife wasn't here and my four kids didn't feel like this was their spot, this was their place. That's what gives me resonance and happiness and it makes all the design stuff, which is just the cherry on top, come together. To me, it's about our family, our new family in a lot of ways, and all four of the kids and my wife just being, just feeling like this is their spot. Honey, I said. Okay, I'm answering. Answer the question. Okay. All right. Wait, hold on. What? You want to answer or you want me to? How did. Can you ask the question? Yeah, ask one more time.